So I am inside of Flare, and I'm gonna do some dark web dumpster diving. I wanna take a look out there across the illicit underground and the cybercrime centrals and all the syndicates and see what we might be able to dig up. I figure it'd be kind of fun to go look for some info stealer malware and just see what's out and about and available. I am loving the fact that I can use Flare for this because honestly, I can look through any identifiers that I might set for myself. Looks like there's a lot of activity because I released a video today at the time of recording, but I could honestly just switch this to global and then I could look for anything I want, like basically Google across all of the shady stuff out there, whether it's illicit networks on the dark web, like marketplaces or forums, or even like telegram chats or ransomware gangs and their leak sites or infected devices or open websites like Google or Git GitHub or S3 buckets on Amazon, anything. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to look for info stealer. Granted, info stealer malware is really what I'm kind of trying to hunt for, but I think I can keep it generic for right now, which is simply info stealer. Now, when I hit enter, it'll just give me practically everything that can track down across all of the different things. Looks like we have over 3000 results already from the past 30 days. And there are tons of different actors or like individual accounts or users that are already chatting about specific things. Like you can see chain reactors on GitHub. They're already digging into this and they've got some other stuff going on. And we could kind of drill down in the collection as to what it's pulling from. Uh, and even their latest updates, like as of June, I'm sure there's going to be a new release for July. Uh, it's just July 3rd at the time recording, but we could go ahead and actually toggle inside of our events off some of those things that we don't actually want to see. Like if I want to specifically drill down into info stealers on the dark web, let me just search for info stealer again, but let me change all the filters to disable lookalike domains, lead credentials, open web. I don't really care all that much about. I do want to go ahead and take a look inside of the dark web and the Tor hidden services. I don't need to look at infected devices, ransom leaks, chats, profiles. I kind of just want to see what's out on the market and in different forums. So let me go ahead and click apply. And I'm actually going to toggle some of the severe here because what I want to do is I want to start from the top, like narrow down my scope. So what I'm searching for will be the most critical to start. Looks like there's zero results. That's a okay, but I might be able to actually zoom in and expand this slowly. Are there any high reports? Okay. It looks like an interesting one, uh, in a language that I do not speak. Hey, looks like this actor presumably is sharing some personally identifiable information, PII. Now I can't read this truthfully. <laughs> they do give us the URL so we could go navigate to it if we wanted to. But the content here is just exactly that. If we wanted to kind of drill down and read the entire thing, we certainly could. But let me go use their AI assist because that way it'll at least try to do the translation for me. I'm going to assume this is drilling down into a data breach or some like actual leak already that they're just discussing and hey, talking about, okay, different accounts that have been leaked 687 million. Oh, uh, goodness. And of course, the AI is going to tell you, hey, some mitigations and remediations. But let's go see. Let me fire up a uh, tour. I've got uh, my Hunix workstation over here. Let's see if we can go to that URL and see what's up. Okay, this is that. I really, really need a like tour translator. There are a lot of advertisements on this page. My goodness. Oh, it's Wednesday. <laughs> it is Wednesday. What is this website? This poor Reddit user asked eight years ago for a translation plugin and he never got any response. <laughs> hey, I'm in the same boat, man. Eight years later. Yeah, I'm sure most of it is pretty sketch, uh, especially because like six years ago, right? No conversations about anything that's good and worthwhile. And Assumingly, there's just not a good option and it's probably not worthwhile to add something on to Tor. Almost kind of defeats the purpose. I would, however, love to understand what the heck is going on on this page. Looks like they're discussing lapses, the Windows print spooler, any of the vulnerabilities that come through with that and everything else that could be mentioned here. A lot of stuff. All right, so that one didn't have a lot of runway. Let's see what else is out there. Let's expand this to about a medium score. Ooh, CryptBB has a post here mentioning inflow stealers on an Instagram brute force application. Let me check out the summary. Brute Forcing a modern web app from a $100 billion corporation in 2023 is a non-starter. People are the weak link, the best attack vector, getting the average user to install an info stealer. It's already much easier than accomplishing the goal to attack and target Instagram directly. That's true. That's, those are facts. I, I agree with that. Uh, we can copy that to Clipboard and go see what they were chatting about. Oh, I need to log in to CryptBB. I created an account some time ago. We could probably just still log in and see this here. All right. I am logged in onto CryptBB, one of the other forums and marketplaces for all of the shenanigans going on here. 
They always have a lot of interesting stuff, but let's dive into that thread we were just tracking in with Flare. Let me grab that link one more time and let's go to that location. All right, here we go. Is there anyone skilled in Instagram brute force? Because he once tried to hack Instagram account, but it didn't work. Upload correct password and username, but login failed. Give some copy. Hi, first checking account and your password you have, it'll work. Ooh, like they're, okay, they're just sharing some of those scripts that are out on GitHub for brooding and brute forcing against Instagram or other social medias. Use a social media hacking toolkit. Fortunately, Instagram will kick you out the gnomus. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. Whatever. Obviously bad idea, not worth uh, trying to beat up Instagram or any other like legitimate application here. This is wild. <laughs> IG hack. Okay, so it's a bash script. Oh, it's meant to be run from your phone. Oh, of course, from noob hackers and his YouTube channel. Um, he's going to get me. He's coming to get me. I know it. Lolcat, you have to have installed. That is a requirement. Lolcat is a necessary dependency. And a full video tutorial. Is this still up? Infinity Trickster, that is separate from Noob Hack. Facebook group, Facebook group. My goodness. Educational purposes only, of course, uh, uh, undoubtedly. Except for this fellow on Crypt BB, apparently. <laughs> All right, well, that YouTube page loads. Let's go check out the social media hacking toolkit. This is still up. And it's actually been updated like two days ago. Whoa. Educational purposes only, of course. Ubuntu, Arch. Okay, so it's tested on all these different distributions in Windows 7 and Windows 10. Pull down the repository, install Winscribe. I'm assuming that's a typo. <laughs> Is it not? Or did they just copy and paste the typo twice? That's in a separate section. They did the same thing for Cali. In all these, they're all just typo. <laughs> All right, well, hey, I gotta be honest, I have no intent on running this or doing it because I'm not that, I don't do that stuff, uh, but it's a thing. It is a lot of stars, what the? Infinite money, infinite money dot tricks, 97 subscribers, everything shown on my channel are real and legit. How is this still active? What the f <laughs> Oh, and here's an awesome channel, Infinity Trickster, different from Infinity Money. I thought that linked Infinity Trickster. Here are some Google tricks. Oh, what is that video quality? Is that like 144? It is, what the? <laughs> All right, what do we got here? We got hunt and find all social media accounts of celebrities, get a blue tick on Instagram, hacking IP addresses of any website, Wireshark shorts with Kelly Linux. <laughs> That's too weird. This is what awesome looks like. Me, a quote from me. Is it Deadpool? I don't know. All right, I'm out of here. We have not yet found any uh, info stealers. Let's get back to Flare. What is a Trojan? Is it a virus or is it malware? InfoStealer Trojan, as it sounds, this Trojan behaves like antivirus software but demands money from you to detect and remove threats. The Game Thief Trojan. All right, let's go try that one out. Thank you, Cloudflare. Checking if Cracks.pro is secure. Yep, I am human. What is this web page? Trojan horse or Trojan is a type of malicious software. Okay, is it like genuinely explaining what different kinds of malware are? Where is my game thief Trojan? Oh, wait a second. Oh, this is literally just explaining different kinds of malware. This is not helpful. This is not helpful. Oh, but there are some interesting things here. Batch file virus. What is a root? Joe's just like explaining all these different kinds. <laughs> what is adware? What is spyware? What is <laughs> a doxing tutorial for y'all? Let me check out this batch file virus. What do you got here? All right, Alexa09, giving us the leet batch file virus. Hey guys, haven't posted in a while, but doing a lot of schoolwork. Okay, cool. The batch file that wipes the startup files of computer, so don't be a noob and test it on your own computer because it'll screw your computer up. <laughs> I've been working on this for a while and finally got a virus rating. <gasps> That's it? That's it. You deleted some files. That is, that is it. Low tier. Doxing tutorial, I don't even want to dig through. I don't even, I don't, I don't have hope for this. Windows grep? This is trash. I'm sorry. There's so much. There's so much. I'm I'm really genuinely sorry due to uh that that isn't my jam. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Look, print stealer on Kingdom Market. We can get this one. It's six dollars. It doesn't support escrow. Coming from Blue Dom, ships worldwide. All right, we need to go through their captcha on this. Please identify the numbers from smallest to the largest. One, two, third, fourth, five. <laughs> there we go. I did it. Please click the last one. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, I need an account to view this page. Really? Can I just sign up? All right, here we go. Kingdom Market, the Print Stealer 2022. Very powerful malware. Always download and build your stub instead of RDP or VM. There's no way for me to download this without paying for it, is there? <laughs> All right, product description. The malware can capture a wide range of information that ranges from taking screenshots to gathering passwords, cookies, autofill data stored in web browsers like Google Chrome, Opera, Edge, Brave, yada, yada, yada. Can also steal Discord, multi-factor authentications with text, doc, docx extensions, and even things from VPN apps like Nord, 
Word, Open, and Proton. Oh, the IP address linked to by the C2 domain, this thing. Uh, I don't know what that random base 64 is there for. Information sealers can be harmful to individuals as well as organizations, researchers. Is this from, oh, oh, this is like excerpt of a news article from Cybel or Sybil, however you pronounce that company. Is this like a known bad IP address? Let me check. VT, what do you got for me? Let me look for that one. Analysis in progress. Okay, it hasn't been submitted before. That's kind of weird to me. Does Cybel have a write-up on this from Print Stealer? Oh yeah, this is from last year. New info sealer performing clipper and keylogger activities from 2022. Oh, and this is straight up it. This is it. The post on the cybercrime marketplace. Oh, wow. They're selling for $100. For $900. We got it for six. Granted, it may be a scam, right? Recently claiming that it is FUD, fully undetectable. Look at that in Telegram chats. Detected easy. It is see it's a .NET malware. It includes like a binary inside it. Oh, ROT13. <laughs> Telegram token, Telegram chat ID. Well, I would love to be able to play with it. I just don't want to spend money for it. I mean, it's an info stealer, right? It'll steal info. And I mean, that's kind of the gist. Digging into all the different locations and different browsers or different applications where it might steal from. Even Pigeon. Wow, that's like old school. Oh, it has keylogger functionality. It will enable keylogger feature only if hard-coded applications that are included in the code are running on the system. that will be stored in the logs keylogger folder. Okay, and it's looking for Twitter, anything with like WeChat, Telegram, Skype, Discord. Okay, well, I mean, it's very, very likely you might have some of that installed, presumably if that's that list. Yeah, services, right? So, I mean, what do you expect? Info stealer, stealing info. Virus Total says that thing is clean. <laughs> All right, so there we go. We finally saw an info stealer, at least for sale on Kingdom Market. We got an account created on Kingdom Market, so a little bit of progress. Uh, ooh, Aurora, the Aurora info stealer with uh, some more language that I don't read. Um, we could go to that URL. Granted, I'm not going to be able to see much, but what does our AI assist come back with here? Can you translate that for me? Mm, not a lot helpful there. I've heard of Aurora, another one on a uh, different post. Presumably... Same content? Yeah, exact same content, different location, probably syndicated out there. This mentions Vipersoft. We've seen uh, we've seen Vipersoft all the time. Like you've probably seen all the videos where we just keep running into Vipersoft. Oni forums. What is this one? That looks new. Yeah, this was that page for the WH Club. I can't read that. I'm sorry. Oni, what is this? Oh, this looks like a duplicate crypt BB, but worse. You have to create an account on this thing too. <laughs> All right, we are set up on Oni forums or Oni, I don't know. Oh, that's pretty slick. I want to check out that proof of concept in Python. Let me open up that in a new tab. This forum like theme and colors is pretty tough on the eyes. <laughs> Let's go take a look at that thread that we were looking at just a moment ago. This is Hexploit's Malware Market. I decided to start selling a few of the malware-related tools I've written. $30 for a native Windows keylogger. $20 for a little shellcode runner. What? What? You don't need to pay $20 for that. Currently unavailable. What? Did you like? Did your keyboard break? Where is the stealer? Where is the info stealer? Hey, use my ECRO service or my escrow service. Can we see a video? What's the proof of concept? What's the POC? Hey, Python base. Ooh, okay. Here's a video. Here's a video. Sample two. Go check that out. Screenshot of the latest build. Let's take a look at that. Where's the stealer? Let me control F for stealer. Oh, there's nothing else. Anyway, let's try to see their little video. You download that, it'll come down at the speed of Tor. Imgur, you need JavaScript to run Imgur? All right, here's their builder. It's a builder. <laughs> oh, hey, you can check the box to bypass UAC, anti-VM, anti-debugger, run on startup. Cheesy, looking good. All right, I got to look at this Microsoft Word remote code execution Python POC. Heap corruption vulnerability, Microsoft Word's RTF par parser. How's was attacker to achieve remote code execution. I have to reply? Okay, then. Interesting. Hello, thank you very much. Let me try. Thanks. Oh, my goodness. Everyone replies with just nonsense. Uh, Reply. Wow, very cool. Post reply. Message is too short. <laughs> Please enter a message longer than 15 characters. Uh, okay. Copy paste. Do it. <laughs> Look at me. There I am. <laughs> All right. Can I see the code? Oh, wait a second. This has been like shared. Yeah, this is way back in March. I'm stupid. I've seen that on Twitter. Like that's, that's a straight up tweet. All right. Yet another false alarm. Let's get out of here. Okay. Hexpoint posted the exact same thing on Oni forums and CryptBB. Newsmaker has the same thing about Aurora. Oh, that's Nemesis, though. That's different. But again, something I can't read. Nold. That sounds interesting. Let's go to that one. Oh, our video is almost done. Yeah, our video is done recording. Let's go. Uh, our video is done downloading. Let's go see that. Here they go. They're firing up our hex loader. Just literally running shell code with a interpreter callback. You know what? You can't, you can't hate the player. I, I make videos on this. 
Wow. Oh, he pulls into anti scammy. Everyone always has like different thoughts on anti scammy because like they say they don't share it, but then everyone's like, oh, they do. Yeah, looking good. All right, let's get out of there. Let's go take a look at error nulled. I need to have JavaScript enabled for this. Are you kidding me? Guys, it's like Tor Dark Web 101. Granted, I guess that's a clearnet site. So, oh, wait a second. The page is gone. It says it's not there anymore. Okay, so that's not helpful. Yes, that one's done too. Ooh, this is when everyone was talking about Genesis Market getting seized. It's still down, isn't it? I'm pretty sure Genesis Market is still like way dead. Genesis.market. I had a login for Genesis Market and I would always show it in like some really good looking, uh, you know, presentations, but I'm pretty sure it's either become now what people keep saying, oh, is a fed honeypot or whatever, or it still just has its seized display. <laughs> yeah, man, it's, it's, it's donezo. Look at you. Kudos to you guys. Hey, clap for that. Rev it up. Great work. And I mean that in, in, in all seriousness, uh, incredible stuff. Dude, they call out, have I been pwned in here? Troy Hunt? Wow. Wow, kudos to him. Ooh, AI-generated YouTube video tutorial spreading info stealer malware? Oh, I gotta check that out. Guys, I am a human. Guys, I am a human. You don't need to check every time. I haven't changed. I'm still, it's still human. Still human. Oh, I need to have an account. Yet, of course. Obviously. Start your education. Cybersecurity. Play gambling. <laughs> they have a promo video? What is this? Dude. It's so like the Inception sound effect, like, Boom. oh my God, what does that say? Lots of experienced and hardworking people. Wait, there's a typo. There's a typo. Oh my gosh. There's an absolutely a typo. <laughs> Hard word king people from all over the world. Easiest place to make money. This is the coolest movie trailer. I just, I want higher quality than 144. Is that too much to ask? Tor, I gotta go see this video in the real in the real YouTubes. <laughs> Number one hack forum on the internet. Lots of hard word king. Easiest place to make money online. Join to the groups. You won't feel alone. How, how, how do you make, how do you make a, a like movie trailer promo video for your forum? Is this place like cooler than cool? Is it too cool for school? And I just don't know. This is a minute and a half. It's literally an ad. It's a sponsored video. <laughs> oh yeah, sorry. I was trying to register for this thing. God dang it. You know what? No, I don't even care. I don't want to register. I don't, I, it's a waste of time. <laughs> I'm sure I can find this elsewhere like crack.io. Oh, they still have breach forums on here? How? Is this just old? No, oh, yeah. Okay, so this is March. Was breach taken down by then? I forget. Obviously it's down now. This will just take me to another uh, seized yeah, 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 yeah. This is so, so rough. Pump up porn and handcuffs. Wow. It's so sharp, like a knife. All these others are on breach form. So, I mean, again, a little bit dated, uh, going back into February, going back into March. So maybe we have reached the end unless we expand our, our search even more. But the low and the info ones don't give us a whole lot more. So look, we found a couple info stealer things on the marketplaces. And obviously we opened this up a little bit more. We could probably track down even more. Like Telegram has to be popping off. Obviously GitHub is going to have loads of these. But I thought, you know what, it'd be fun to go explore some other spots. All right, well, I don't know how much runway we're really going to have with info stealers on the dark web. Like info stealer malware, I'm sure we'll see it across some marketplaces and their mileage may vary, right? Across Telegram groups and even GitHub or even just mentions of it and <laughs> stupid explanations of what they are. Uh, but look, we got a couple good ones in there and it was really, really cool to be able to use Flare to like siphon that all into one location. And then we can sift through it and see what interesting stuff might be out there. Big, big thanks to Flair for helping sponsor this video and many others. And uh, honestly, it's just really cool to be able to explore with a little bit of a looking glass into what's out there on the dark web, tour and services, or just out on the internet. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.